Hello and good evening. This video is purely about internet connection and that matters because this morning I got Starlink. You might have seen the little video I posted and the little pictures and stuff like that. Well, Starlink is Elon Musk's broadband. It's the satellite one. It's the one that's ruined all the astrophotography. Apparently, it's something that if I was doing astrophotography, I'd be pretty peed about. However, for people like me in rural areas, this broadband could be a bit of a lifesaver. So I currently rely on media content creation and I send it to clients all over the world. And that can be challenging because sometimes it takes absolutely ages. Like this one video took 17 hours to upload and it failed with 50 minutes to go. So I had to start all again. So when the opportunity to own a Starlink system came about, I had to take it. I had to try it. I have no other option. So in terms of the speed results, here they are. I ran a few tests today and they're pretty good. I mean, they're a lot higher than I was getting. It's going to cut my workflow tremendously. It's going to enable me to upload more content on a frequent basis, which I'm, I'm happy about. On the negative side, it is slightly erratic. It, it bounces around. It fluctuates a lot. There's a a lot of drop connections, various other things, but it's stable. And I think if you have a backup line, it's probably going to work for you just fine. Now, two things I want to highlight that I wish I had have known before I got the system. First thing, don't rely on the app for coverage because the app showed me the area that was going to be relied on for the connection was actually facing the opposite direction. So when I got the system and pointed it to the sky, the dish kept turning in the opposite direction the app recommended. And that was a problem because my installation was a waste of time prior to the Starlink arriving. The next thing I would recommend is that you buy a roof mine. Just get one as soon as you can so you can get it up onto a roof. I have not got mine up on the roof. Mine is in the garden and that may well be why I'm having the problems that I'm having. So I've reached out and there's somebody that's going to help out with that. Really excited about getting it on the roof and hopefully after it's up, I'll be able to share some more speed tests and results with you. So that is Starlink in a nutshell whatever you're doing for the rest of the evening, have a good one and I will catch you later.